note it how you want Paul to see time at that power forward. You made it sound like a lot of minutes. He well, was like, yeah, I could do a handful if needed. Well, he, he don't make decisions around here. <laughs> uh, but uh, I did it. I loved it after I did it. Uh, we'll see how he feels about it. Uh, I just think offensively it's, it's going to be one of the greatest uh, feelings he's ever going to have. He's going to find out it's much easier. But obviously he's going to have to guard bigger and stronger players. I'm not going to get into battle with Paul George about where he wants to play. He's a basketball player. He can play anywhere. You put him out there. I just told him how I think he'll embrace the opportunity. And uh, I know what it did to my career. It gave me a feeling that I, I always like to get down there and bang with the guys instead of running around chasing everybody all the time. And coming off this injury that he's coming off of, I think it would be a good year to, to try it because he can guard some threes, but he won't have to do it all the time. And it uh, gives him a year to get stronger and healthier. And, and um, I think it's a, it'd be a big plus for him and, and our team. Does he need to bulk up to play that position? No, I weigh 225 pounds. I didn't say I played it great, but at least I played it. <laughs> and I'm still walking around. So, uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, I think it's overrated. I think you get guys that, uh, if you look around the league like I did and you go through every team, it's not as bad as you think it is. Now, you look at Washington, Nene, and Gortat, that's a little big. But you go any other team, it's really you see LeBron doing it all the time. Now he's a little bit stronger and a little bit bigger, but it really doesn't matter. He'll do fine. 